In this video, we're going to look at how many times, or how to count, how many times a particular word appears in a list, for instance, on the spreadsheet. So I've got these these uh, these animals here, dog, cat, pig, cow, snake. I've got them in this list. And I want to count how many times a dog appears. So one, two, three, you get the idea. But we want to use Google Sheets to do that for us. So the way to do it, click in the cell, click on the functions, and then go to math, and go to count if. So what you're going to do, you're going to be counting if a particular word appears in this list. So count if, and the range, which is this bit here, the range is that, and then press comma, and then the criteria, and the criteria is that word there, dog. Just close the bracket. Well, in this case, you actually just press return because the bracket's already there, and it's got seven. Let's just count that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well done. And it's suggesting autofill for me. So how many times these ones are appearing as well? Do we want to use autofill? Uh, if you do, you just press the tick. If we don't, you can just close it. So I'll reject that. So I don't want autofill. I'm going to show you again how to do that. So for cat this time, we click in this box. We go to functions. We go to math. Go to count if. Pick your range, which is that range there. Press comma, and then the criteria, and the criteria is cat, so you just click on that. Press return, and we've got six instances. If I want to repeat this for all of these, which I probably do, I need to make a couple of little, um, little changes to the formula. If, before each of these, you've got C9 to C30, if you make them static, okay, and I'll explain what that is in a second, but the way to make them static is to put the uh, sorry, let's put the dollar sign before them. Now, what static means is that that formula, which is this range, is going to stay in place. If it was the opposite of that, which is dynamic, then what would happen is that as I do my thing, then which will be dragging this formula down, these bits will drag down with it. It's easy if I just show you. So I've made that one first one static. What I'm going to do? Click on the little square at the bottom there, drag it down. It's gone too far, didn't want that very bottom one. And what it's done, if I click on any of these, you can see that this one is F9. So F9 is looking for the dog. If we go to the next one, F10 is looking for the cat. Go to the next one, F11 is looking for the pig, and so on. But C9 to C30, which is the list here, is staying the same. Now, if I hadn't made it static and I made it just dynamic, so I've just gone back a few steps so I can see this. So C9 to C30. If I just drag that down, okay, it looks good. It looks absolutely fine. But this one is C10 to C31, C11 to C32. So if I click in there, yeah, we're happy with that. But that list has missed off the dog. And that one has missed off dog and cat. And it's added extra at the bottom. That's because it's moving. It's known as dynamic which is very useful, particularly where we wanted to be looking up F11, which is the pig, but it's not working for what we want to do. So again, I'll undo, I'll undo that change. So I'll just go back to this one here. And as I say, the way to do it, just click in there at the top, put the dollar sign before the C, before the nine, before the C, before the 30, but leave F9 as it is, drag it down, and there we go, it's perfect. So no matter which one I click on, it's always going to be giving me that same range. Anyway, you now know how to count the number of times a particular word appears in a list. And in this case, cow appears three times. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video. I hope you found it useful. Enjoy using Google Sheets.